Highness, Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Excellencies, dear friends, welcome to this session. We are going to speak about the water and we, how we as a water community can advance the world to be a better place in the common future. 2015 was a year of many global decisions. It started off with a Sendai meeting in Japan in March on disaster risk reduction, continued with an Addis Ababa conference on financing for development. We had a groundbreaking decision by United Nations General Assembly, the member states of UN, in September on the Sustainable Development Goals. And finally, the Paris Agreement on Climate in December. And some of you may recall that a year ago, we started to discuss at the World Water Week how we, as a water community, could advance the issue about water in the common future. There were some advices to us that we should look into and take stock of where we are, not only on the water SDG, but also water at large in the Sustainable Development Goals. And that is what we are doing right now. We know there is a water goal. That was something that we community worked for, for quite some time. That is good. Water is on the map. But we also know that water is related to most of the SDGs. Without water, we cannot achieve what we are opting for. At the same time, we have worked hard for quite some time to get water as part of the climate change discussions and the climate agenda. And that is something that we are also going to discuss today and further on when we come to Marrakesh and the COP22. Now, Karin, we have the water goal, we have the climate change agenda. Now it's time to turn to more concrete actions. Actually, I'm excited to uh, name implementation the buzzword of this week for how much I've heard of it and mentioned and discussed. And actually, how well we coordinate, how effectively we work together across sectors and borders will almost certainly determine how well we will achieve the global goals and the climate targets set before us. So we'd like to drill down a bit to a very concrete level here today. What really is needed for implementation. We believe that it's vital to bring different kinds of stakeholders together in different combinations. For example, city leaders and business, civil society actors who work on the local level, and also social entrepreneurs like Claire Reed, who we heard from on Monday at this week's opening plenary. Social entrepreneurs like Claire build businesses that solve problems in society and often with few resources. Can we, as a community, come together and support each other in the implementation? We need also to build further on initiatives for interaction between governments and non-state actors. And we will discuss a few of these initiatives today here. But it's also important to look beyond the water community and the water sector and seek partnership with other communities and other areas of importance for sustainable development. Because as we know, water and water knowledge is needed in every part of society. We need to find and learn from good examples and also from bad ones. And the water community needs not only to be in our own bubble, but to reach out to other places as well and work with others. And that is the one main idea behind the World Water Week, that we should get actors together from different walks of life, from ministries, international organizations, international finance institutions, UN, civil society, private sector, etc. And this specific week we have the high-level panel on water, the Sherpas, the representatives of that group here in town, and I just had a breakfast meeting with the business society meeting the Sherpas, and some of them will be here later on today. And that is also a possibility for us to reach out and address the heads of state now looking into water at the global agenda. Uh, but there are a number of challenges that we must address, Karin. Could you put forward some of them that you think are most important for us to take on? Yeah, a main um, challenge uh, is that key processes at both national and global levels remains fragmented, despite that most of the development issues are closely related. 
uh, and therefore mechanisms to coordinate implementation across sectors and boundaries are needed if resources are to be used efficiently, especially as both the global demand for fresh water and the gravity of water-related climate change impacts are increasing. Looking at the climate agenda, the uh, so-called national determined contributors are important vehicles through which we can integrate the climate and water agendas. And it is interesting to note that fresh water is a top priority for the vast majority of countries that have included adaptation in their indices. And I think you will agree with me, Torgny. I think it's crucial that the implementation of the global climate agenda recognizes and involves non-state actors within the climate convention talks. And that's why also this global climate action agenda is so important, that we have the main actors that started it and that are implementing it now here today. We're really pleased to have you here in this room to discuss this. So, we would like to see the World Water Week as a possibility to do this work together, who present a broad range of different kinds of actors. And since we have our annual event here, we offer the World Water Week as a possibility to come back from a different perspective, non-state actors and governments, to take stock on where we are in the process. And we need really concrete discussions here. We often speak about water as a connector between SDGs, between actors and sectors, between SDGs and indices. But what does that really mean? And how exactly would we like to use water to bring the development agenda and the Paris Agreement forward and in a coherent way? And that is what we're going to hear more about this morning. We have some very distinguished guests and a panel. We will be spending the full morning here discussing the future of the world from a water perspective. Firstly, a warm welcome to Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, also Sustainable Development Advocate, appointed by the Union Secretary General. Thank you, Your Highness, for taking the time to join us today. Welcome. <laughs> 